Uh, hey guys, I'm Jose and welcome to this new tutorial in Soft Image Eyes. Um, right, so today we're gonna see a little bit of how to deal with some of the debugging tools and how to just like start visualizing graphically some of the information that we're getting out of um, some operations in Eyes. Right, so let's start by creating a point cloud, a grid. Right, so you can see here that we can actually create a point cloud. Um, that seems pretty good. That's eight by eight, and we'll start by just creating a nice tree for that object. Um, maybe something that I forgot to mention in the first tutorial is that it's interesting about eyes, about how um, how basically the ice tree lives inside um, the object, right? each ice tree lives inside an object, right? So let's create something else. Uh, let's say, for instance, let's create a null. And then let's move this null somewhere in space, like here. And if you look at the ice tree, if I like update the ice tree of this null, or the ice trees in general, um, we don't have anything really, because we haven't created an ice tree for the null, right? Um, if you're used to some other software, like Grasshopper, or like uh, some other graphic interfaces, Sometimes the, there's a kind of a general node for your scene. Uh, I rather like the idea that you know an object contains its own nodes um, because that suggests that you could actually make a very simple set of nodes that in a way will play out themselves with other nodes, let's say in this case from this node. So we can actually look at this node and we can actually create an ice tree just for that node as well, right? So we could have any number of ice trees inside any number of objects. So let's um, start doing some calculations here and then start visualizing some of that data. So what I'm going to do is just drag the null from here, from the uh, Explorer window, into my ice tree. So that would bring this other element, this null here, inside um, the ice tree of our grid, right? So we know that we are inside our um, grid because here we can see grid, point cloud, and this is the ice tree operator. But we're bringing this element here. So let's get data node. So we're going to collect some data from the null. So we're going to use the, um, the name of this data, right? And we're going to say, we're going to explore this null. And what we're looking for um, in kinematics, global transformation, position. Um, so again, that's kinematics, global transformation, position. And that's the vector of location of the null, right? Um, we are going to get data again. And here we're going to say self dot point position, right? So what we're doing here is collecting the information from the data of the dots from the particles, right? You can see. Um, so what we're going to do is just start calculating some stuff between these two guys, right? Um, so let's do something like distance. Um, so we have get distance between. Let's try that one, right? So we could just say first distance, second distance. Uh, and we have here calculated distance between those two elements, right? Um, let's see how to visualize this data, right? Um, what we could do is use a set data node. Um, and something that is interesting about set data is that you don't necessarily need to set data of data that exists inside an element, right? So we could say self dot and explore and we'll see that the point cloud has several elements like several variables that we could set but what if you set into some variable that doesn't exist for instance dmp like temporal right um this is a technique that uh, a lot of people use actually to visualize data that it's not uh, it doesn't exist in the object yet we are kind of creating this this field with this distance right so 
it, it won't really make any changes, but we will as, uh, like associate this data of distance, like how much distance does this point have to this null element, right? So um, how do we visualize it? Uh, we have set this data into kind of a new field that doesn't exist or didn't exist before. And we can now right click here. Sorry about this. Um, we can right click here and say show values. And we get this dialog box, right? So here we can display the information as numeric. And we have a few options, like do we want to show all the information or do we want to show just in some cases? And what is the color of that tag? So let's say, okay. And you see that here we're getting kind of a representation of the data from the points to the, um, to the null, right? So that's, that's very straightforward. Uh, we can understand that if we want to get rid of this information, we can say high value, we can just show value again, and that would be automated. If you double click here, um, you could just go again into the parameters of like, uh, the color or you see how we can visualize the data. Um, what else can we do here? Let's see something like a vectorial subtraction. So subtract. So let's do a vector between these two guys. And, and you see here that the subtraction will result in a vector, right? Um, so I'm doing a subtraction between the position of the point and the vector of, and the position of the null here. So what I want to do is just maybe expand this a little bit here and I can just set it to um, a new value, right? So let's say new value and this new value is going to be self.tmp2, right? So I'm creating a new field for this subtract vector. So we'll see that we can show the value of this vector in this case we have different options, right? We could actually represent it as a point trail. Let's see that one and see what do we get. So you see that we have this kind of trail. Let's try something like vector, right? So now we're kind of seeing the line of that vector uh, and we have a little arrow, right? That in this case, we have lots of arrows in this corner, right? But we could say, well, let's show only maybe 10% of that. Let's see how that works. So just only 10% of those elements um, get shown, uh, maybe all of them. And this is not a line. This is not an, a, a geometry. This is just a debugging tool. Yeah, that means that it's just a tool that allows us to visualize the information that we're collecting, right? Um, so vectors plus length, you see, well, all the values of lengths get override in the same position here. So we have several options and, and really good debugging tools to actually start visualizing what we're doing. So um, and we're going to leave it here for this tutorial. We're going to be using these tools quite often. So yeah, try to get used to them. See you guys soon.